I love this part. Oh no! He's out of the he's out of Benazult. I think it's okay though. And now Ushi damage, boom! 56. It's the one and only. Now, a lot of people might be asking the question whether or not they should pull for Yelon, which is the current banner they actually have, or they would pull for Ito. And Ito hasn't, I don't think they've shown his banner yet, if I stand corrected, but I'm pretty sure Ito is going to have Kuki Shinobu on his banner, as well as some other four star characters that I do not know yet. But in 14 days, well, 13 days at this point, we're going to see Ito's banner coming out. Now, Ito is a super fun character, and I have to say he is one of the most interesting characters in the game just because he's a full-on geo claymore character that needs a full-on geo team now if you have ito you probably are going to need garu i'm not going to lie they go hand in hand together and you don't have to panic too much because garu is super super simple to build super easy to build in fact that you don't really need to invest much on it my goal is level 70 obviously i could you know make him go to level 80 and i probably should do that and i probably will at some point i guess for now he's going to be 70 out of 70 and that's fine that's all he needs right now goro is super easy to build because he doesn't need much you need some energy recharge you need some defense and that's it you're going to be good to go doesn't really scale on defense in terms of damage but what he does scale is on you know the amount of defense that he actually gives to his teammates is affected i guess so if you want to deal the most damage in the ultimate state you have to build you know defense but other than that it's not really that important also in constellation if you have c4 and above i would recommend doing as much defense as possible so you can heal as much as possible so you can build a 4 geo team and that would be an easy way to get yourself some energy recharge and energy particles flowing all in all you don't need it much all you need is a few levels on your goru and you're good to go ito on the other hand is a little more interesting to build because you just want to stack defense super super stack put all your defense into him because what ito does during his ultimate state he converts all his defense into attack and that's how he does his damage so technically if you want you could still go on attack but you get so much more out of building him off defense that it's not even worth going for the attack now in terms of elemental mastery don't bother <laughs> zero elemental mastery is where you want to be because he does nothing with the amount of mastery other than make crystallization, which isn't that important anyway. In terms of his weapons, have a weapon that has defense percentage on it or crit rate crit damage on it. So if you want, you can go with the white line for free to play, or you can go with the serpent spine, which gives you a massive damage buff anyway, which is also a pretty good weapon to have. But if your ratios are good enough, which I think mine are pretty decent for now, um, you could just run the normal you know defense percentage on the white blind and it work perfectly well uh, my white blind is actually refinement rank 5 so you guys are going to see a little bit of a you know difference in damage there but it's not going to be affected that much i hope not i, I don't think at least artifacts obviously the four piece of the husk super easy to make super easy to build just get any four piece and it'll work fine obviously go with full defense on everything and you'll have a good time and the only thing that you don't want defense on is the geo damage goblet which is pretty nice as well don't follow the guide that they show you here because the the, the whole guide thing is kind of mad. now forest constellations c2 is where you want to be if you want your ito to be super powerful other than that you don't really need much because c6 changes is com changes him completely yeah let's not really look into that that much now for in, in terms of his actual talents so yeah basically you want to invest into all of these at least because ito does benefit a lot from his normal attacks and his charge attacks and it does take into account his normal attack damage. So yeah, you guys probably want to do that as well. And Ushi is an interesting thing because Ushi is super powerful because once you hit his E, he does like 500% damage, which is almost like an ultimate amount of damage, which is crazy and super awesome. You don't have to crown Ushi like I did. Just leave him level nine, level eight, and he'll do massive amounts of damage for you, especially after you ultimate with uh, Arutaki Ito. And it'll be pretty awesome time. So stack defense, that's where you want him to be at and you have a pretty nice time with your Arataki Ito. Now for the actual team, this is the team that I like running. I like having Ito with Goro as well as Zhongli and Bennett. This is the team I, you know, usually run. So let's just do a little bit of a team test and we'll, I think we'll go to the Magu Kenki and we'll see what happens. Now the thing with Goro is you probably are going to need to have some sort of parade on him in order for this to actually take effect. So if you don't want this to be a you know, factor, you can use the sacrificial boat. It works just as well. So yeah, keep that in mind while you want to run this. 
All right, here we go. Now we can deal some massive damage here. Boom, 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 boom. And let's go. I love this part. Oh no, he's out of the, he's out of Benazult. I think it's okay though. And now Ushi damage, boom, 56,000. It's so dumb the amount of damage Ushi does. It's so dumb. But here we go anyway, boom. And we're pretty much done. <laughs> so yeah, Ito is pretty pretty fun to play with. It's one of my favorite characters to play with. It's just really unfortunate that you have to use a Geo team on him, or else he won't be you know the greatest thing of all time. And uh, I guess you could have a two you know person Geo team. You have Goro, you can have Ito, and then you have maybe Shinkcho Bennett. That would do as much damage as well. You can have a lot of damage there as well. Or you can have Albedo instead of you know Zhongli in my stead which would work pretty well as well and yeah i mean that's pretty much it other than you know just the amount of weapons that ito can use you could he can use the wolf's gravestone if you guys want he could use the unforged but i think if you just stack some sort of like defense crit damage crit rate on his weapon that is where you want to be at and that is it for today's video hope you guys got something out of it if you did consider like the video subscribe to the channel as well let me know what you guys want to you know know if you want to know more about ito if you want something else let me know in the comment section like this video if you like this subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video very soon bye bye